two of basic pitch matching is to use the same random sequence of pitches as we used in part one, but this time deny yourself the slide, making it or hearing it. You simply place your hand through muscle memory, trying to intuit where those pitches will be, lift up, and see how close you get. As you saw with me, it can be hit or miss, because it's very difficult to memorize or anticipate a random sequence. However, once you lift up, if that pitch fails to match the one that you've heard, correct as quickly as you can. Always correct. Never worry about having to move that hand and find that pitch. The main thing is to match it, and over time, you will begin to develop better muscle memory. So, I'll play the sequence for you, you go ahead and try it, and then I have one last thing to share with you for this exercise. Here comes your sequence of pitches. Without sliding, listen to the next pitch. Find it. Just move that hand, lift up, and see if you've matched it. If not, correct. Keep going. Get ready. Lift up. See if you've matched. If not, correct. You're halfway there. How are you doing? Okay, practice this one a lot. It will be different every time. The pitches that you hit perfectly will be different every time. The ones that you miss will be different every time. The reason why we choose random sequences for pitch matching is really, really important. When you have absolutely no way of really anticipating what the next pitch is going to be. You're listening and moving that pitch hand in a very different way from the way you do when you play a familiar song. That's because when you know the sequence of notes, when a song is familiar to you, the context within which each one of the pitches exists is defined partly by the pitch that precedes it and the pitch that follows it. In other words, when you know the sequence of pitches, your muscle memory is able to kick in because you're able to completely anticipate what that next pitch needs to be in order to get the melody right. But with a random sequence, it's up for grabs. So the likelihood of missing them is greater, but also by training yourself with random sequences along with the songs you want to play the muscle memory and your ability to intuit where those pitches is, is going to improve. So, meet me next time at part three.